the key fact about deep learning before deep learning started to be successful is that it was underestimated. People who worked in machine learning simply didn't think that neural networks could do much. People didn't believe that large neural networks could be trained. People were arguing because there were no, there, there were, there were no, there was no way to get hard facts. And by that, I mean, there were no benchmarks which were truly hard, that if you do really well on them, then you can say, look, here's my system. That's when you switch from, th that's when this field becomes a little bit more of an engineering field. So in terms of deep learning, to answer the question directly, the ideas were all there. The thing that was missing was a lot of supervised data and a lot of compute. Once you have a lot of supervised data and a lot of compute, then there is a third thing which is needed as well, and that is conviction. Conviction that if you take the right stuff, which already exists, and apply and mix it with a lot of data and a lot of compute, that it will in fact work.